What's up, UH Nation? This is Troy speaking. Just got done with two big games. I have Greg with me. Greg Tan. Greg Tan. So let's talk about the first game. It was Team Wojcik versus Team Shea. Team Shea. And Shea it was, was a, fine. It was a good matchup. Team Shea has a, um, a lot of speed. They're a very dynamic team, and they can uh, really attack the middle. Yeah, they're, they're, think, they're, their guards get in the paint pretty easy, but... Sometimes, you know, they get a little shaky in there once, yes. once they well, get there. You know, I got to agree with that because when they get in, and some of their players are definitely known for this, they'll put up a bad shot when maybe they're triple teamed or double teamed. Mm -hmm. But that's where I got to give credit to my own team. What up, Team Wojcik? <laughs> <laughs> and um, we really attacked the ball carrier, and we forced them into bad shots and bad opportunities. And then the rebounds. We all came up big with rebounds and hustling for the ball. And it was um, that those turnovers really led to a couple good fast break points. And um, it's exciting stuff. Yeah, it was good seeing Josh playing defense too. Nothing <laughs> like that. No, seriously, I, that, that was enlightening yes. to me. Yes, that, that, that you was know great. But on a serious note, it's kind of it's funny, but that's big. Yeah, that's big. It's big for them because they when need, you James the team needs that. Yeah, when you don't have a player hustling back on D, it deflates your team. Mm -hmm. Especially when you're the player hustling back and now you have a two-on-one. Yeah, and yeah. what am I going to do when you see your other player not hustling back, not playing deep? So no, when, you have, hard. when you have all five players on the court hustling, it helps a lot. And you, you guys lit up the arc pretty well too, right? I saw Wojcik hit a few threes. I think he hit four deep, threes. Yeah. I think he went four for seven, which is very impressive. Deep threes too, um, game changers. You were rebounding pretty well. Yeah, um, rebounding like a first pick. Should I? <laughs> well, you know, it, like I said, it goes back to hustling. Just that ball's my ball, and that's how <laughs> it is, and that's the way I want it to be. Um, <laughs> I want to go back to T, uh, to Wojcik hitting threes. Okay, those are game changers. They deflate the other team. Especially when that other team has a hand in his face, mm -hmm. and they can't do anything about it. Well, a lot of, I feel like a few of them, the hands weren't even in his face. He hit a few NBA range threes, and they kind of... That too. You, you got to put a hand in Kamisha's face, man. That, you, NBA they, range, they, though. Yeah. yeah. They, 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 I, don't, I think they kind of doubted his range. He mm -hmm. hits two there, and they, they just kept letting him shoot up there. And, and you know what's great about our team, though? Like you said, the rebounds, we can shoot, and then when the... When the uh, when, when there's a big rebound, we get it. And then we're usually able to kick out to someone like T or someone that could really drive into the lane, and they're going to get a good shot up. I think T was hitting the mid-range shots Terrence very had a few well. mid-range shots, yeah. yeah. So that was exciting. But um, let's go on to your game. Uh, game two. Game oh, two. Game two was a scrappy one. It was close, man. Uh, game two was good, though. Uh, we kept the MVP of the league, Corrigan, down to, I don't know, he's usually lighting the threes up. His whole team is him and Tom. Well, let I me think, uh, well, can, can so I get in for a second? Yeah, no, no, no problem. Um, let me tell you from personal experience from last game, Woj uh Corgan. Corgan. Corgan yeah. is a baller. Yeah. Corgan can hit threes. He's a big body. He's six four, I think two forty five. Plays smart. He plays smart and he's quick. Yeah. Um and I, being one of the oldest guys in the league, it's incredible. Oh, and yeah. it's so hard to stop. Oh yeah. He played overseas, I think. Yeah. But we were lucky. We kept them down. I think what they said one for nine, one for eight behind the arc, and you know we we really deflated their three point shot. Mm -hmm. That's what we needed. Uh, Tom went maybe like three. How would you guys shut him down? I I don't. I just I I was on him for a while, and another guard was on. Him. We just followed him around, kept a hand in his face. I actually talked to Tom after the game, and he said that was really tough because he mentioned you putting a hand right in his face. It's got to be there. And, you know, when you do that, it makes it tough on a three-point shooter because <laughs> if you can't see the basket, you can't hit the shot. They also call him Dirk. They call him yeah, Dirk. Yeah, yeah, his whole team calls him Dirk. And I guess I got to respect that. So you got to um, put a hand in Dirk's face, right? That's definitely a compliment. I mean, and he does play like it. Yeah. I agree with that. But aside from that, a very physical game, um, you know, calls pretty even, you know, maybe some miss some whatever, but, you know, very physical a lot of scrapping for the ball. How did uh, Ryan do? Ryan Reed, Ryan Reed. big man. Oh, he played. He played well. Uh, a lot of fouling, but you know, there's nothing you could do against Tim Corrigan sometimes, mm -hmm. man. Just gotta 
So then I just got to hit him, and he, he actually had a few, a handful of and ones. Okay. I mean, I say we took away his three ball, but he probably still had mid 20s, mid to high 20s tonight, honestly. One thing I noticed late in the game is you guys made foul shots. Yeah. Oh, and we as, missed a few um, too, though. <laughs> well, as Team Corrigan was trying to mount their comeback, you guys killed him on the foul line. I think you were perfect in the in the last couple minutes. Oh uh, no, we missed we missed a few crucial ones, and okay. they 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 cut it down to three, and they actually could have let a, a last second shot go to tie the game, but we were lucky enough. To, what were you guys thinking at that point? What was the game plan? I I actually I actually thought there was still time left, honestly, okay. when we were playing. So I just kept following uh, Tom around. Yeah. Next thing I know, I hear the buzzer. Game's over. That must have been a relief. That was a relief, yeah. Especially. I, I thought there was still like 10 seconds of play left or something like that. But. With the ball in Tom's hand. And Tom, let me tell you, Tom can shoot off the dribble like nobody else in this league. Mm -hmm. He can shoot off a pass, dude. He can. He shoots. He shoots well. Yeah. And um, tough shots, too. So, yeah. that and, was it. Yeah, they, they, yeah, basically. Rebounding, I'd say, was pretty even. Ran... You ran pretty well. We didn't really get too many fast, not too many fast break points from either point, uh, either team, really. Second game. Okay. So overall, we had two exciting games today over at Berkeley Heights. And um, one, the big game being your game, knocking off Corrigan's team yeah. from a perfect record. Yeah. And then, of course, I'm excited about my team, Team Mojic. Um your game, game, your game was just the opening to, to the main event. Yeah. <laughs> Our <laughs> game with it that way. <laughs> Yeah, exciting stuff. Yeah, exciting stuff tonight. Berkeley Heights, very two close games. Yeah, for sure.